Cornelius Medical Technologies Inc. is a neurotech company focused on neurological wellness. The company's focus is to develop, license, and acquire unique and non-invasive platform technologies that amplify the brain's ability to heal itself. The company's first product in development is the Portable Neuromodulation Simulator, used for the treatment of chronic balance deficit due to traumatic brain injury when used in conjunction with physical therapy. The device is currently used in Canada and under review for clearance by the FDA and the EU notified body. Helios Medical Technologies is listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol HSDT and on the TSX under the ticker symbol HSM. And I'm joined now by uh, Helios Medical Technologies CEO Phil Deschamps. Hi, Hello, James. Welcome. How are you? I um, feel really good today. Awesome. Is that because you've been using your uh, Helios products? <laughs> no. No. Uh, it's because we've uh, we've marked uh, such a such an incredible milestone for uh, for any development stage company. We're uh, we've now uh, moved into the uh, the commercial the commercial stage. Okay. Uh, since we've been cleared in Canada. Great. So let's start with an overview of exactly what is the business of Helios Medical because sure. most of my audience probably doesn't know. Sure. So Helios Medical Technologies is a company that was organized to develop uh, a technology called uh, the Portable Neuromodulation Stimulator, or PONS for short. Uh, PONS is a device uh, that stimulates the tongue, believe it or not. Uh, and the tongue is tied to your, the, your back of the, the back of your brain with four major cranial nerves, one of which is called the trigeminal nerve. Uh, that nerve uh, projects into the largest area of the brain, so when you stimulate and combine that stimulation with physical or cognitive therapy, so thought therapy or, or physical exercise, it seems to put the brain into what plastic state which means that the brain can actually reorganize itself to try and bypass what's been damaged by disease or trauma. So if you've had a traumatic brain injury that's affected a particular part of your brain, you do the exercises with the stimulation, and that then require, or, or allows the brain to reorganize itself to achieve what's been damaged by disease or trauma, and, and the symptoms get better. So it stimulates re organization of the brain pathways correct physiologically correct no kidding absolutely That's well look let me let me be let me be transparent that is the best hypothesis right okay. uh, we we've seen we've done some MRI work we know uh -huh. that it increases the blood flow to the areas of the brain that are being exercised mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and we know that um, uh, that uh, the trigeminal nerve does result in these kinds of things so uh, you know you conjecture uh, in uh, in figuring out exactly what works what clinical trials do is they actually have you verify uh, whether uh, not to verify how it actually works, but to verify that it actually creates the outcome that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I see that uh, Montel Williams in the accompanying videos mm -hmm. is using this device. Did he have a brain injury that he did dealing with? No, Montel, uh, in fact, he's uh, very instrumental in how the company was, uh, was formed. Uh, back in 2010, uh, believe it or not, he was flying between Los Angeles and New York and read in American Way magazine, that bastion of scientific, uh, 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 scientific reporting, uh, had the picture of the three scientists who developed this technology, and they were claiming to help people with neurological symptoms of uh, MS and Parkinson's and traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. And he picked up the, mag the, the, the magazine and said, wow, this, this is a, who are these people? I've never met them. And he sort of always prided himself on being on the cutting edge of, of, uh, uh, of what was happening in the, in the treatment space. So he landed and, uh, and uh, called his, uh, his assistant. Uh, three days later, he was there 60 minute style with a microphone in front of him. He said, what are you doing raising the hopes of, of people in, in doing this? Uh, and uh, being good Midwestern people, they said, well, Mr. Williams, we actually have a, a protocol that's going on here in our hospital. And if you accept to do the protocol, we can see if this might help you. Hmm. And having MS, he went in. And lucky for all of us, uh, he was a high responder. Uh, so within two weeks, he started to see some of his symptoms go away. Uh, so then he immediately went into, uh, into the mode where uh, Montel is uh, famous for being a, a radio and talk show guy, but I think if he was sitting here, he would say that he's much more proud of his service to his country through 22 years of being in, uh, in the Army. Uh, he would kill me. He was a Marine. <laughs> right, right. I'm touchy about that. Yeah, yeah, very touchy about that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I met Army, Big A Army, uh, right. Armed Forces. Um, so his idea was, uh, wow, if this can help me, I wonder if it might help soldiers coming 
coming back from, uh, from Iraq and Afghanistan with traumatic brain injuries. Mm -hmm. And he, being Montel, went to the Secretary of the Army uh, and uh, Sec Secretary McHugh at the time. And to his credit, Secretary McHugh within two weeks had us at the Pentagon. We reviewed the data that we had at that time and the Army said, we have nothing to help these kids. Uh, we're going to spend some money and uh, do the clinical trials. So there was really born our first dollars into the company, uh, and it allowed us to do our design development and to start the clinical trials uh, that have uh, yielded where we are today, actually treating patients here in Canada. Well, that's fascinating. Um, have you, perchance, perused the work of Dr. Raphael Mishulam, who has found that certain elements, components of the cannabis plant uh -huh. have an effect of in, a, of of inculcating recovery of function mm -hmm. due as a result of traumatic brain injury as a treatment. So I'm just thinking yeah. this mixed with that might even be more effective, something for you guys to explore, <laughs> but I'm gonna put that in front of you. Um, how many people in the world have a traumatic brain injury for whom this might be an appropriate approach? So the, the world number is uh, sort of uh, defies, it's about 50 to 60 million people have a traumatic brain injury every year. And what I mean by traumatic brain injury is any, uh, any blow to the head, bar fights, falls, car accidents, uh, anything, sports concussive injuries, uh, concussions, anything like that. I think when we get to uh, sort of get to a more manageable size, I can describe the US and Canada, and since we're here in Toronto, I'll describe Canada first. Mm -hmm. If you go to the Canadian uh, Brain Injury Association, they will tell you that about 1.5 million Canadians have uh, chronic symptoms of a traumatic brain injury that they live with every day. Okay. Uh, we actually got our clearance for Health Canada for balance deficit tied to mild to moderate tra traumatic brain injury. So that's a subset of those patients. So about 350,000 Canadians, and those of you watching out there, you know yourselves, have chronic def uh, balance deficit tied to this uh, MMTBI. Hmm. Uh, and so the number is huge. Wow. And, uh, and really what, uh, the way that it impacts uh, people's lives is when you lose your sense of balance, you lose your sense of, of being able to walk properly and go into busy places. So you have a sort of a social isolation uh, uh, component to this. And then uh, the, 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 the association also describes that most people, 92% uh, of people in fact who have, uh, are affected by this, have some kind of reduced ability to work. Uh, in that uh, they can't do their job. Uh, and it's not only because you have a balance disorder, sometimes it's just because you're cognitively affected by the, the you can't stare at a screen uh, mm. for as long as you would. So uh, we're specific on the balance and gait, but you know, it's a, it's a complex uh, story that a lot, not a lot of people have spoken about because uh, there's never really been a treatment. Uh, so uh, you hear the NFL and you hear the concussions and, and uh, C, uh, CT and things like that, uh, but nobody really talks of treatment because this is uh, really the first treatment's ever been indicated for this particular uh, disorder. Wow, that's amazing. Um, okay, so then, where do you, how do you, how do people pay for this? Through yeah. medical programs? So right now, and, and most medical devices anywhere in the world, when you, uh, when you first get cleared, it's a self-pay system. Uh, and so uh, the uh, system that's been set up in Canada is we're, uh, we've partnered and created uh, with some partners of ours who actually did our clinical trial to create the HERO system, H-E-U, uh, H-E-U-R-O. Uh, so hero.ca is where a, a, a patient affected by this could get information. And you click on find the clinic and then you'll be able to, uh, to get uh, immediately uh, uh, channeled into somebody who would be able to describe the treatment. So self-pay, uh, this is a 14-week uh, a, uh, a treatment, so just under four months, mm -hmm. uh, has a huge uh, amount of uh, comprehensive assessments and you're essentially monitored. You do two weeks in the clinic and then you do 12 weeks at home where right. you can do your, uh, your exercises at home. And the total program is about $30,000 to be able to, uh, to, to do. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, and at first, uh, what we've done is we've uh, hooked up with uh, some third party uh, financial uh, organizations that can help defray the cost of that therapy over a five year period. Uh, to make it essentially, uh, we're trying to make it about the size of a car payment uh, mm. for five years uh, so we can give people access. And over time, uh, since uh, if you think about it, if people are injured at work, the workers' compensation systems uh, are pretty happy to have people rehabilitate because right. our clinical trial would say, James, that uh, for people who are pretty profoundly disabled with a prognosis of a lifetime of that disability, 56% yes. were normal in the normal range at the end of treatment. 
Right. So you can imagine that these people will be able to go back to work, uh, will be able to be productive for themselves and or uh, for the employers that, they've, uh, that, that, that they have. So there's a, we, we hope uh, that everybody understands that the huge value that can be provided for people uh, to, uh, to take the treatment and, and get better. Yeah, that sounds incredible. Um, okay, so is this something that for Canadians, can they, does healthcare cover it? So not right now. Okay. Uh, again, the usual process that happens is, uh, is self-pay uh, up front, right. uh, and then uh, we will uh, be talking to the workers' compensation systems on every province. We will be talking to, uh, to Health Canada in, uh, in, uh, in the, uh, the different, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the, the provinces in Canada right. uh, for coverage of the, uh, of the treatment over time. That typically takes 18 to 24 months uh, okay. in, in our experience to get that. And, and what we're trying to do is we're uh, every single patient that's being treated in Canada, we're gathering their data. So this will be a huge asset, completely depersonalized, hmm. and it's gathered to the cloud. So we're going to be one of the first organizations to be able to help the provincial medical uh, 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 systems right. to really understand what level of, of work can people return to? Uh, how has it impacted their lives uh, through assessments that are uh, that are uh, scientifically uh, gathered prospectively? So, right. uh, so we look forward to working with the provincial systems to see if uh, if they feel this is worthwhile to cover over wow. time. Wow, fantastic! Okay, well, this is a story that we obviously need to uh, stay on top of because it's so interesting, and we're going to leave it there for now, though, Phil. We'll have you back just as soon as we can. Uh, thanks very much for coming and joining oh, us today. It's, it's my pleasure, James. All the best to you.